the 2023 Presidential Candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Showore, on Wednesday mocked his counterpart from the Labour Party, PTOB, over the honorary citizenship that was recently conferred on him in the United States, U.S. Nigerian News has reported earlier that Obi was conferred with honorary citizenship of Dallas in the U.S. by the mayor of Dallas, Eric Johnson. The presidential hopeful disclosed the development on his verified Twitter page on Wednesday morning. Obi tweeted, Today in Dallas, Texas, United States, I met with the mayor of Dallas and his team. I had the privilege of being conferred with the honorary citizenship of Dallas. However, while others were congratulating Obi for the development, Showery via his personal Twitter account mocked the former governor of Anambra State for celebrating the honorary citizenship, which according to him is not worth the paper it was printed on. The controversial activist said someone has scammed the Labour Party's presidential flag bearer. Showery tweeted, No wonder Peter Obi clearly stated He's got no ideology different from Atiku, Abubakar, and the rest. For him to be celebrating the conferment of honorary citizenship of Dallas shows he's got no clue that the award is not even worth the paper it was printed upon. Someone scammed him. In a different post, Reno Mokri, a former presidential aide and a staunch supporter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, 2023 presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar said he was all right when he said earlier that Obi is surrounded by agents of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Omokri had earlier claimed that a lady from River State is helping Obi to lead his obedience movement and that she lives in Abuja. Taken to Twitter on Wednesday morning, Omokri had who had once declared his respect and love for Peter Obi said, When I said Peter Obi is surrounded by IPOB agents and the light skinned Rivers girl who leads obedience on Twitter is actually an Abuja based male IPOB agent. You guys attacked me. Now Obi has said it with his own mouth. I meet with IPOB and live with them. This one is interesting. Peter Obi has been scammed. I was right after all, says Showery and Reno Mokri. So these two persons, um, Reno Mokri and Showery, we know that um, they, they are not supporters of uh, Peter Obi's um, presidential um, candidacy. Omoyele Showery is running himself under the platform of the African Action Congress, AAC. While um, Reno Mokri is the former or ex aide to former president, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, of the People's Democratic Party. So he's actually a supporter of um, PDP. He's been supporting the PDP ever since. Um, he speaks regarding happenings in the country. We know he calls himself Buhari's tormentor. He's been speaking against the All Progressive Congress. They are the oppositions anyway. And um, he's in support of um, Atiku Abubakar. In this report, um, Peter B got um, <laughs> uh, he got uh, a honorary citizenship that was recently conferred on him in the United States. You know, he's been going around speaking about um, his ambition to become the president, what he would do for the country. And recently, one interview, he mentioned that um, he's traveled to over 30 countries. And the reason he's even going around that he's going to learn from them so that when he becomes president, that will not be the time he's, he will start learning, that he's going to see how things are working, how um, their system is functioning properly and learning what they are doing. And he's taking all of that on board. And that's what he's basically doing right now. So he's going around. So as part of that, um, he went to the United States and went to Dallas and he was conferred with this um, honorary citizenship. However, uh, in the midst of um, congratulatory messages he was receiving, Omoyele Showere, we know Omoyele Showere is an activist who has been speaking against um, the ruling of Progressive Congress. However, um, 
Peter Obi is not from the All Progressive Congress. We know he used to be with the People's Democratic Party. Now he left there and he's with the Labour Party, LP. Omaile says that uh, Peter Obi has been scammed and he still doesn't know that he's been scammed. All of this is saying, obviously, it's just that um, Peter Obi doesn't know what he's doing. That Peter Obi should know that um, the, what was given to him doesn't amount to anything. In his own words, he put it this way, that no wonder Peter Obi clearly stated he's got no ideology different from Atiku Abubakar and the rest. For him to be celebrating conferment of honorary citizenship of Dallas shows he's got no clue that the award is not even worth the paper it was printed upon. Someone scammed him. While uh, Peter B was rejoicing about what he just got in Dallas, uh, Moyele is saying that wh why is he rejoicing? Does he not know that that thing does not amount to anything? In the midst of all of that, Reno Mokri dropped his own remark, his own comment as well. One other thing that linked or that's linking um, the LP candidates, Peter B and Reno Mokri, we know that they were all of the same family. They are all from the People's Democratic Party. But right now, Peter B has left there. You know, he gave his reasons why he was leaving. Uh, he doesn't think that uh, he's looked at it, he's thought about it, that that party is not where he can contribute constructively to the country, that he will not be able to make any constructive contribution to the country. As such, he has to move. And we know he moved to LP. And he, he, he in fact, he got commended. He received commendations for not falling back to the popular party. Well, things are changing right now. The game is changing. We can see how obedient movement is rising. His popularity is rising seriously. Truth be told. There's nowhere you go to you don't hear about Obedent. They've been conducting rallies in different parts of the country. So he's, he's growing. He's gaining popularity. Because if we look at um, even this 2023 election, the, the top candidates that are out there is the APC's candidate as the ruling party, Bola Tinubu, um, the opposition's People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubaka, LP, the Labour Party, and uh, NNPP, that's the New Nigerian People's Party, Kankwaso, Omaele Showere is not part of this for so Peter B is uh, is gaining popularity despite the fact that uh, whatever people think about him, you know, um, a reporter has, uh, the one Reno Mokri was talking about was that um, Peter B is using IPOB members to carry out um, all of this. He's, uh, he's using IPOB members anyways and that uh, he confirmed it himself with his own mouth that he meets and lives with them. But that doesn't mean that um, he's in support of um, whatever they are doing. IPOB members, they are people, they are Nigerians as well. They haven't left the, the country. They are still part of the country. Maybe that's what he means by stating that I meet with them and all of that. But anyways, these two people, obviously, with their comments and their remark, they are not in support of um, the LPs and presidential uh, uh, aspiration. Let's hear your own thoughts. Leave us your take, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.